This video is about how to use the famous quadratic formula, the minus b formula, in your calculator to use it correctly. Uh, here it is here, and most people know it off by heart. It's in the log tables as well. And it is if you're given a quadratic formula with, which looks like this, which has x squared plus 2x minus 3, for example, and it's equal to 0, so it's an equation, and you're trying to find what value for x satisfies it. Well, one way to do it, a very uh, popular way to do it, is to use the minus b formula, and here it is here x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this case, a is equal to 1 because it's a number before the x squared. That's a 1. The b is a 2 and the c is a minus 3. So if we get our calculator up, we'll have a look at this. And I'll put in minus b, which is minus 2, plus or minus, let's make this a plus first, plus uh, the square root of b squared, well that's 2 squared, minus 4 times 1 times minus 3. You notice I didn't even need a bracket, the calculator does it nicely for me. Minus 4 times 1 times minus 3, all divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. As you get more comfortable as well, you can recognize things like, I don't need to write 2 times 1, you know. You could also get comfortable and do this sort of stuff if you want as well, you can make that 4, because you know 2 by 2 is 4. Okay, anyway, the answer is plus 1. And then I get the other one, I'm going to go minus, so minus 3. So the answer are x equals 1 and x equals minus 3. They are the solutions to this. They are the solutions to this equation here. If I plug in 1 into this up here, watch. So if they maybe um, um, they might show to, you might be asked to verify verify your solutions, in which case you're going to say, well, let x equal to 1 and plot it in. I'm going to get 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 3, and indeed that does equal to 0. So that's proven. Or you might let's say x equal to minus 3. Let's see if that works. I'm going to get minus 3. You notice minus 3 to be squared. Watch this. I'll just finish this off first. Uh, plus 2 times minus 3 minus 3. So minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 is 9, 2 multiplied by minus 3 is minus 6, minus 3, and that indeed does equal to 0. Look at the calculator for one second. If I did this here, minus 3 to be squared, watch what the answer is, it's minus 9. What your computer is saying is it's minus 3 squared. What you often want in the, in the minus b formula is this. It's minus 3 to be squared. Anyway, let's have a look at another example. So you might be asked to solve the equation minus x squared minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. So we know that a is equal to minus 1, b is equal to minus 3, and c is equal to plus 4. So our equation is, our minus b formula is minus b, which is going to give me minus minus 3, give me, okay, I'm not going to write minus minus 3, okay, I'm just going to write down plus 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared. Well, b squared is minus 3. A lot of people do this, and they type that into the calculator, and it's going to give them minus 9. You can do that into your calculator. Or, since you know it's going to be positive, why not just do this? You could go x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared. Okay, Or, flip it, 9. Because you know, so but anyway, the point is this number is always going to be positive. So it's minus 3 to be squared plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times minus 1 times 4. All over 2a, which is 2 times a is minus 1. So let's plug that into our calculator. Okay, the first thing I would do is I would hit that button there. I'm going to go 3. I'm going to do plus first the square root of b squared, I'm gonna go straight to nine, guys, okay? Instead of doing this, minus three, close bracket, to the power of two, okay? I just know it's always gonna be positive. Now that it's in there, I'll leave it, but I would probably just put in nine. Minus four times uh, a is equal to minus one, minus one, uh, times um, c, which is four. And again, you notice I don't have to worry about the brackets around like that, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a, which is going to give me 2 times minus 1, 2 times, again, minus 1. The calculator is great, you don't need the brackets or anything, equals minus 4. So let's just type it in, so we know that x equals 
minus 4. There's also another side, let's have a look at the other one, which is when you change this to a this slow, isn't it? Uh, minus, and x equals 1 as well. Okay, so x equals 1. So these values satisfy S-A-T-I-S-F-Y. They satisfy the equation. Now I'll give you uh, one or two examples here and then you can pause the video and see if you can get them right. Now, um, have a go at these two equations here. Solve the quadratic equations. Give your answers correct to one decimal place. Now, here's what my calculator looks for the first one. Um, okay, and I got, when I did this first, by the way, I got this answer here, which isn't to two. If they said in third form, that's it there. But they didn't. They said to one decimal place. So that's going to give me, and to one decimal place, minus point minus 0 0.3 is to one decimal place. So minus 0 0.3. So x is equal to minus 0 0.3. And let's have a look at the other side. Make this a plus. Minus, should I say. It's going to give me minus 10, which is going to give me minus 2.4. So here's the second equation, the way it looks like in the calculator. I put in the minus 3 in brackets this time. Usually I would just type in a 9 there myself, put it to show you. Minus 4ac, and the answer is minus 1.17, which is 1.2, minus 1.2. So x equal to minus 1.2. That's one answer. I need to get another one as well, so I'll try the, it's going to be the minus here. Okay, and make this a minus 1 as well. Gives me this, which gives me 0.425, so 0.4. Okay, I hope you got those right. Hope that helped. Thank you.